Now, let's pretend, just for sake of argument, that you can't decide out of those five or six or seven or eight things what to do first. You ever had that happen? Maybe. All right, well, there are, there's four ways to think about how to decide, okay? So impact. The first one is impact. If it's not high impact, get it off your list. Don't even do anything that, you don't have time. Does anybody here feel like they have too much time in their work day? <laughs> and, <laughs> and they have like kind of, they're kind of bored? No. So if it's not high impact, don't do it. You've got to figure something else out, which is outside the scope of this particular conversation. The second thing is time. Is it going to take a long time or a short time? You want to do your short things first. The next thing is difficulty. How easy or not easy is it? You want to do the easy things first. And finally, cost. Is it going to cost a lot or not so much? And you want to do the cheaper things first. And that's going to depend on your, like that's hard to really say in a, in a classroom setting, kind of what that means. But, but so you want the high impact, short duration, easy, low cost stuff and do that first on your first priorities when you're turning over your stuff. Now what about this? What if you have a, a really important project that's high impact? but it's a long duration. It's going to cost a lot of money. It's really difficult. What do you do? What do you do? I, I apportion time, a certain amount of time to it. Yeah. You do. OK, that's a good one. What else? Recruit help. Recruit help, that's a good one. Um, one more. Anybody? <laughs> Avoid it like the plague. Go to Facebook. <laughs> That's what most people do. But here's but all those things are good to, to get some help and to apportion some time for it. But I have one more for you. Chunk it up, right? And you're probably thinking, well, it's about the same thing. And you're right. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, if you're going to build a skyscraper, right, that's a big project. It's going to cost a lot of money and so on. And that's why they have the whole process. So like a capital improvement project, so think about in terms of that, which I suspect you all are at least vaguely familiar with, right?